welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm uh, Chris. On today's episode, we have an interesting take on a iconic offer, which yes. not a lot of people realize wrote one of the most iconic horror books of all time. Now, we are, of course, talking about Mary Shelley, and this yes. is the official trailer for a biopic of sorts starring her. It stars Elle Fanning mm -hmm. and Maisie Williams, and it's the story of um, Mary Mary's relationship with her husband. And which led into... Her writing the book, writing Frankenstein. Yeah, exactly. And it's really interesting, pretty much, because I've been hearing a lot of great things where this is, they're, everyone's saying, for Elle Fanning, this is a huge different take that she's ever done in this role. Because they said, it, even when you watch the trailer, you're going to be like, you're going to be kind of shocked at how she's be, be, you know, she's portraying this character. So I'm really interested to take a look at what's going to happen here. So let's just dive right into this. Again, this is for the official trailer for Mary Shelley. So here we go. I feel a frustration, a constant whisper that I am no closer to achieving my dreams. I missed that. That's Shelley. Beautiful, isn't he? Just how old are you then? Old enough to know why you are asking. I'm 16. When I met you, I felt alive. Come away with me. Are you really involved with that whoremonger? I have a fire in my soul and I will no longer allow you or anyone else to contain it. Who amongst you has ever wondered if the dead could return to life? Mm -hmm. Is that really possible? Reanimation. We've been invited to Geneva by Lord Byron. Would you like to join me in the parlor, Miss Gordon? I have no quarrel with you becoming lovers. Do you wish to be with someone else? Mm. I no longer see the world and its works as they before appeared to me, and men appeared to me as monsters. <laughs> We are each to write a ghost story. It's a competition. The woman is not intelligent enough to form ideas of her own. What's wrong with you? You, Miss Godwin, have the chance to prove me wrong. Don't you recognize Victor Frankenstein? Ah. Uh... This is no ghost story. It chilled me to the bone. You must get your story published, Mary. Curious subject matter for a young lady. Are you suggesting the work belongs to Mr. Shelley? It is my story. And you dare question a woman's ability to experience loss. Betrayal. Death. If I had not learned to fight through the anguish, I would not have found this voice. My choice has made me who I am, and I regret nothing. Okay, it looks um, good. It looks I good. would say, look, I would say it feels at first, it kind of felt like another hokey, like, period romantic thing. But once you start realizing that, yeah, you can see the, the similarities between her husband and Victor Frankenstein. Yeah. Weirdo creeps who really don't, are obsessed with other things. Yeah, the obsession pretty much. That, that, that Frankenstein always had, pretty much. Frankenstein yeah. Frankenstein always had with doing what he wanted to do. He was just obsessed. And, of course, it deals with the fact that, you know, she writes this thing. It's amazing. This book, it's amazing. Yeah. But people see for the fact that, um, for the most part, it, it's it's also the, the um, it's also has a female driven thing where they she has to prove she's the one who wrote this. Yeah, in a way, it's like, it, it, it's like usually whenever you get a female writer and stuff like that, not even that, it's like you get more like the romantic type, type of yeah. side of things or you know, things like that. It's like, you know, it's like, and we even see how she be one of her inspirations is when she goes to, I guess, this this like attraction where they show like how electricity what if, works. You know, yeah, what yeah. if you know you had the ability to try to do it? And that's when really in spite of, and then even the competition where they're like, you know, I have a competition. Whoever can write the scariest story, pretty much. Yeah. And that's when it's like this is where we're really pushing her right into this the right in this beautiful story, this amazing horror story of Frank, uh, you know, of Frankenstein. Yeah. You know, so this is something I definitely wouldn't mind checking. I think my wife wouldn't mind checking this out. I think she would definitely enjoy it because she that it's a time period piece, but also it's mixed up with also with this you know the, the true story of what really happened. Uh, for me, this would probably be a nugget Netflix. Um, yeah. yes, probably you know probably one of the streaming services one, but um, you know, but 
I still would. I remember. I I would say I still would want to watch it myself. Yeah, definitely. I still I still want to watch it, but not to probably Netflix. You yeah. Know? So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about drama period pieces, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon on the right hand side. Let us know what you guys thought of our reaction pretty much to this. Um, you know, what's your, your take of it? What, you know, has, has this always been one of your favorite all time stories for a horror story pretty much? Especially for, you know, original classic monster type of thing, Frankenstein. You know, let us know in the comments below. Um, you know, or is it something where you just like the time period of it, you know, where it's taking place and that's what really went behind this, you know, this amazing, beautiful story that they, that she put together. Yeah. Um, so let us know in the comments below, put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this is a very Frankenstein, not so Frankenstein filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.